Please, Kamina, don't do this. Take him to the brig. How long until the pirates are back in range? Hour, maybe two, depending on burn. Same as last time. And the time before that? And the tin time before that. How are you doing? I'm not the one we need to worry about. Don't tell her I said this, but Khan's the toughest person I know. I think the bullet just made her mad. Tough or not, she's going to need help soon. You'll figure something out. I know you will. ETA! Eight minutes! They must have increased their burn this time. <sighs> Don't these Pashangwalas rest? Humans rest. Pirates? Are fucking animals. We need to do something about your arm. Virgil has the medbay prepped and ready. It's fine. Hardly hurts anymore. We're outgunned and nearly out of fuel. Unless we come up with a plan to shake them soon, infection's gonna be the least of my problems. What do you think we should do? What do I think we should do? Besides find ourselves a captain who knows how to make decisions? I was asking your opinion. My opinion is that there is no good option. Whatever you choose will be wrong. And it's your fucking job to choose, Captain. Coordinates, 8214. What are we looking at? Fuck if I know. It's a ship's graveyard. Debris field. Caught in orbit around that body. There's nothing registered there. How do you know? Back when I was MCRN, there were reports of a proxy battle right around here with UNN forces. Never confirmed, but seemed legit. Or much more likely, it's some solar backscatter, radiation cluttering, or any other fucking thing. How sure are you? Geez, after the last few days? I'm not sure I could tell the difference between a pistol grip ratchet and a flex head. <laughs> 80 percent. New plan! We run for cover, in there! Won't work, boss man! If we, if we break their lock, they'll be able to track our drive plume. There won't be a drive plume. We burn hard for here first, then cut engine and turn into orbit. Let it carry us around until we land in the debris. Slingshot, fuck yes! Could work, if there is actually something there. Stations! Con, on my word, loose a PDC volley, then turn and burn. Gee! 
16! Turning? Now! in the debris field. <laughs> you did it, Barsmang! Fucking legend! Quiet! We don't have much time. The pirates are searching for us, and we can't run again without more fuel and reaction mass. Arlen? Baratna and I will head out and start scanning. Captain, I'm prepped for surgery as soon as Khan is ready. <sighs> Tell that waste of oxygen I wouldn't be needing surgery if he didn't freak out the first time. I'm still here. Virgil won't let you down. The prosthetic is ready. Is the, uh, patient? Fine. But you're staying to make sure Dr. Dipshit doesn't cut off the wrong arm. I'm picking up any signs of fuel. Keep looking. Meantime, I'll go for the reaction mass. What a mess. What got Earth and Mars so worked up? And what's a Belsa ship doing in the middle of it? Who knows? Hopefully they all got some reaction mass on board though. Damn. The blast doors to the Laguna are locked down. Not sure if there's a way to open them. Always a way through. If you got enough explosives. Go check out the other ships. I'll see what I can rig up. You want to use explosives to blast through a blast door? Guess that could work. Tell which ship is which. It's all blasted to for Lota. There's definitely more scrap here than a few ships can account for. Maya was right. This was a full on proxy battle. With a Belta ship at the center. Were they planning for an interrogation? Then why'd they start shooting? Hmm. The Martian ship had focus drugs on board. Must have wanted to question someone. I hate those things. Rayon and I got busted by the MCR in once. Didn't think I'd leave that interrogation room alive. Watching that Martian's eyes go all weird. Last time we ever stole anything on Vesta. Had to move to Ceres and start stealing there. Ha! <laughs> 
Hopefully, won't need these anytime soon. After this week, maybe keep them close by. <laughs> Typical Inyas. Travel all the way out here, yet can't break free from their peppy plant extract. Some people don't have anything real to care about. Virgil will probably appreciate these mushrooms. Oh, maybe he'll make white kibble when we get back. Cap, what do you think of Virgil? You trust him? Virgil's a smart man, and a reliable medic. Until he got our pilot shot, you mean? So the MCRM was chasing the Veltas because they stole something. Only need one ship to chase someone. Why'd they bring a whole fleet? The Martians didn't want the UNN to intercept the stolen tech first. They sent a fleet to keep them away. And the UNN reacted the way they always do. With guns. Once the Inners caught up to the Veltas, it was over in minutes. Might be able to rewire this guidance system to work with our ammo. It was good enough for Earth and Mars to tear each other apart. And neither side surrendered, even after taking heavy fire. Stupid Inyas, they never know when to quit. I'm sure Khan will be fine, but it wouldn't hurt to check on the crew. Don't want to interrupt, but how is everything down there? The auto dock was amazing. I want to high five it, but it's still covered in some really unspeakable substances. Khan will be out for a while. When she wakes up, we'll try to attach the prosthetic and. What the? Oh yeah, Maya. Shit. Maya is always complaining about the tools in the engineering bay. Maybe an MCRM model would cheer her up. Yeah, Cap. Cheer up the Martian girl with your tool. Pashang Fong. Found some reaction mass. Toss it to me. I will store it. <sighs> nice toss, Cap. Bossman, you probably noticed me Baratna has been a little edgy lately. Ray, your brother has been an angry Pasheng Walla since my first day on board. This is different. He's... he's got the shakes. It's the pixie dust. But he's been clean for almost a year. He takes some meds that help keep him straight, but... But we haven't done a supply run in weeks. Yeah, ran out of toxiperidone three days ago. Don't worry, boss man. He'll be fine. He's tough. But, thought you should know. I'll never look at a containment vault the same again after that terrible situation with Rayon. Rayon, how's that leg doing? A little sore still, but better. Thanks again for saving it, Cap. A little sore. It should be gone entirely. Unless you think we can eat it. Or use it as a torpedo. Because we may have to. With how low our supplies are. We'll figure something out. These boots might fit Khan. Once I get the feet out of them. Oh. Yeah, feet are a good sign. Means they work. Gotta be something in here that can help Arlen. Got some juice here. We're running low after the past week. 
any longer in the crash couch and I'll stop pissing that stuff. I hope Khan's surgery goes well. For her sake and Virgil's. Maya? Status report? Fire the torpedoes! Get those sons of bitches a welcome or I'll throw you in the brig! Sit down or I'll cut off the other arm! Sorry, Cap, what was that? Wait, are the pirates attacking? No! Khan is just a little woozy from the anesthesia. Don't worry about a thing. I'm gonna knock her out if she gets up again. Ugh. And Inya say that Belta food is disgusting. Real Earth Whiskey. Even Cox has to settle for the belt of stuff. Cox, I need you to tell me everything you know about this Toussaint and the Europa's Bing. They're pirates, what's to tell? Helpful as always. I'll leave you to enjoy the brig. Wait, wait. Is Khan a... I mean... How is she? She'll live. No thanks to you. Or that hothead Virgil. He's the one who lunged in and made the gun go off. Which was in response to you provoking him. You seem to say that he was hiding something from us. Maybe. Let me out of here and we can talk about it. Mmm, no. Earthers love their oceans. Too bad they destroyed them all. Maya seemed willing to help with Khan's surgery. Hope she doesn't regret that now. Is everything, um... Okay, she just said we've been boarded. And now she's wandering around looking for intruders. So, everything's fine. Maya, are you afraid of the elderly woman with one arm? Fuck off. You weren't here. You didn't see the look in her eyes when she... Wait. Hey there. Do you want to lie down for a minute? Do you want to fucking die? Oh, no. Must be the captain. Very proud of his connections to the UN and Brass. Whatever the Belters stole, the UNN and MCRN both went after it. But how did this turn into a shootout? Mars couldn't stand the loss of that tech. And the UNN couldn't resist the chance to get their hands on it. And the belt got caught in the middle again. Got a barrel here. I'll take her. Good work, Sasata. Boss man, I got everything hooked up to blow the door. Head back to the Laguin and check it out. Got it. Hopefully we'll find enough reaction mass to get out of here. And then what? We going treasure hunting? Yeah. You think those coordinates go anywhere interesting? Cox said those coordinates were valuable. But Cox started talking just to get out of the mess he made. You been near a brig lately? Since you save his ass, Owala never shuts up. Explosives are set. Good work, Kamina. Now let the whole station see what happens to traitors who sell out the OPA to the Inyas. I'm in. 
Hmm. Another blast door. Pushing. Fine, I'll get more explosives. No need. I should be able to access the lockdown controls from the bridge. Good thinking, Cap. Could still find more explosives. Just in case. If Maya and Khan start fighting, there won't be any ship left to go back to. Please tell me you're still alive. Okay. Khan and I had to trade a few punches, but we got her calm enough to attach the prosthetic. Aw, were you worried about me? Of course I was. The next time you go up against Khan, at least bring a torpedo. Hey, I did okay without the heavy weaponry. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to find an ice pack. That went surprisingly well. They were heading toward Titania to link up with the Belta sect there. Almost made it. Looks like the crew tried to record a message. This message is to all Erda and Martian security forces in the area. We have received your warnings and demands, and this will be our only response. The MCRN says we have stolen their property. The UNN says we are traveling illegally in their sector. We recognize neither of your claims over us. This is our belt. Torpedoes, away! Incoming! Stand down now and let us keep our course. We will either join our OPA Baratnas on Titania, or sacrifice ourselves to your destruction. There is no other option. Beltalada! Who here is prepared to die for your belt? Beltalada! 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 You hear that? Wouldn't surrender the tech and sent their message in the only way the Inners understand. What was the message? That the Inners are the real thieves here. They take from us every day, and they'll keep doing it if we keep letting them. Brave, Koyos. Wouldn't let anyone get their hands on that tech. Good for them. This data cube hacker might be useful. Sure, might let you break into Rayon's special data drives. Set up push two! Found another barrel. Woo! This is loaded! Or oh, whatever the Inya say. <laughs> <laughs> Got some radiation from a nearby ship, the Manitoba. Scanner shows the engine is mostly intact. Maybe a few pellets too. Boss man, that's the far edge of the debris field. You'll be exposed. You two head back to the Artemis. Everyone stays on the ship, but be ready to pick me up on my order. up a communication from the Europa's Bane. Sabaka, they locked us? No, it's a broadcast. 
but they must know we're close. Patch it over. There is no sense in running anymore. You know who I am, and I am looking forward to meeting you. Contact me to discuss the terms of your surrender. Or just sit and wait until we find you. It's only a matter of time. Shit, shit, shit. Cap, you got to get back here. Not without fuel pellets. Stupid drone is stuck. Sabaka. I doubt they will all be so easy to kill. Virgil, if I respond, will they be able to trace the signal? No, it will only confirm you are in broadcast range. But they seem pretty sure of that already. Put me through. Captain Zapata, this is Kamina Drummer of the Artemis. I don't want to fight you, but keep sending your crew after me, and I'll be forced to keep killing them. You're a long way from Siri Station, Kamina Drama. You've heard of me? I've heard of your work and your bounty. But if I'm speaking to you, what happened to Garrison Cox? He attempted to double his profits. As a result, I am now captain. Not surprising. There's no loyalty among scavengers. Not that the OPA is any better. You must really enjoy the company of miscreants. He's over here! You can always retreat, Toussaint. Protect the rest of your crew. Your reputation is well earned, Captain Drummer. Daniel and Yuri were... They were two of my best. But their needless deaths do not change. Enough. I've had a very long week in a crash couch because of you. Either fall back or keep sending your men to die. Those are your options. Tell me this thing has ammo. I'm on my way. No! Everyone, stay back! What's happening? Why are the pirates pulling away? There are always more options, Captain. I'll have the coordinates. Even if I have to come through rubble to find them. Goodbye. You're bluffing. Hello? Jusson! Come on. Gotta be some ammo left. PDC delivery. Sabaka! Are you crazy? You could get killed. So could you. Now step back and let me do my job. I don't know what the fuck you two are doing, but I'm approaching your location on control thrusters for whenever we shut off. Glad you're back at your post. What are you waiting for? We only get one shot before they know our position. There!
fuck you did. It worked. I believe celebrations are in order. Coordinates are set for the MK Core. Time to see what all the fucking fuss is about. With the fuel you found, we should have no problem getting there and back to Ganymede at least. And how is the new prosthetic it'll do get some rest captain no telling what we'll find at those coordinates I've never had anything resembling a civil conversation with Khan before but I've also never had a cigar to ply her with. Hey, Khan. Resting. Go away. I found a cigar on the Urshanabi. Thought you might want it. But I could always give it to the twins. Don't you dare give it to those two morons. They'd use it as a butt plug or something. First taste, you earned it. <laughs> oh, Pashag, <clears throat> it tastes like burnt kibble. That's your unrefined palate. You need to smoke more to burn away all the taste buds. <coughs> My husband, Bao, used to hate when I smoked. Said it was 40 minutes of pleasure for three hours of cleaning out the air vents. He wasn't wrong. What happened to him? The Pinafore, a small transport skiff owned by Trackman. I was pilot, Bao was chief mechanic. Boring work. Little outside contact. Exactly what we wanted. There'd been reports of pirates along our heading. The usual shit. We weren't worried because... What's the point? And besides, we had our protocol. Protocol? A maneuver we practiced. In case of hostile boarding, I'd feign submission. Hands behind my head. And when Bao thought the moment was just right, he'd say the code word and hit the deck, and then... Modified SMG with heat targeting rounds. I could draw and fire the clip in five seconds, easily take out an entire raiding party. That is actually a solid tactical maneuver. 
Pyrus wouldn't expect a weapon there and Bao would be safe on the floor. I know. So what happened? The pirates came for us like we feared. They boarded the pinafore. I drew them in, got them occupied, and at the right moment, Bao said the word. And I froze. I'd never fired live rounds in battle before, and I suddenly doubted myself. What if the clip was jammed? Would it even fire? Maybe these pirates weren't so bad. It was just a moment, but it was enough time for an antsy pirate fuck to grab me and shoot my bow. I've seen a lot of combat. Prepare all you want. No one knows how they will respond until the moment comes. Bao's death was not your fault. Maybe. Maybe not. Doesn't matter much anymore, does it? Don't you want to know the code word? Artemis. I'd never heard of her. It was Bao who read all the Greek bullshit. Apparently, she and I shared a few things in common. Your ungodly beauty? Fuck you. <laughs> Mostly, he said it was because... I never missed my shot. Tell you what, if I ever get the chance, you bet your ass I won't flinch again. Any guesses on our destination? Nada. All I know is that it's far the fuck out there. So ever hid that treasure, wanted it far the fuck away. Can you believe how vicious these pirates are? Yes. I mean how they were willing to blow us up just to prove a point. Yes. So you don't think there's anything special about them? Yes, I do. They seem to have more guns. It's good talking with you, Khan. Yeah, yeah. Khan named her ship after her greatest failure, that never told another soul about it. Falota. It's been a rough week. I should check in with the crew and see how everyone's doing. Cox was even more unhinged than I imagined. Circumstances have changed a lot since I last saw this bottle. Cox won't be coming out of his cell for a long time. Might as well give him some company. What are these? Decryption keys? Pushing Walla! I knew Cox was paranoid, but spying on his crew? He just can't help himself. Say what you will about Virgil, but he takes his job as ship's medic very seriously.
The one thing I know about Virgil is that he's an excellent doctor. The rest is a mystery. At least we've only had one limb replacement so far. You're welcome, Rayan. Cox said Virgil was hiding something. Let's find out. For an inner, he does make an excellent red kibble. Looks like Virgil has some anxiety from his past. Glad to see he is managing it. Virgil's private computer. Must be something here. Encrypted. But I picked up a data cube hacker in that ship graveyard. Should tell me what Virgil is hiding. Hopefully this data hacker I found still works. Bingo. Apparently there's a lot Virgil hasn't shared about his past. Like his time as a UNN soldier. So Virgil's not even Virgil. Whatever he's hiding, it was enough to make him change his entire identity. Not only did Virgil hide his UNN service and his real name, he's also wanted by his own government for desertion. I should try to get more information from him. True belters take water, air, and sleep wherever they can find them. Say anything else about these two, but they are true belters. Boss man. <laughs> Maya and Virgil learned a lot of Langbelt to swear words in the past week. Khan seems to already know them all. Now that I know the truth about Virgil, it's time to get some answers from him. What's on your mind, Captain? I found some mushroom powder for you to cook with. <sighs> Bursting with umami. Exceptional. <laughs> Thank you, Captain. You served in the UNN. As a medic, yes. It was the only way I could afford medical school on Luna. Hmm. Why did you desert? Because I was finding it harder and harder to live with myself. Being stationed in the belt, I was surrounded by people in desperate need of my help. But because of the badge on my chest and the gun on my back, I was their enemy. One day, it became too much to bear. You could have helped if you wanted. You made the choice to remain loyal to them. 
you're right. It seemed impossible to break free of the UNN until I finally did. Now I only wish I had done so sooner. I'm sorry, Captain. I hope that my actions on this ship can offer some amends for my past. Why should I trust you? Because I sacrificed everything I have to get away from my past and start a new life here in the belt. I understand. But if there's anything else I need to know, I expect you to tell me. Of course. Thank you. Get some rest, Virgil. Captain, is my UNN past going to be a problem for us? You were stationed in the belt. That means you were occupying my home. I know. The way I see it, you're wanted by the UNN for desertion. I'm wanted for fighting them. Sounds like we're both on the same side. Thank you, Captain. Cox doesn't seem too bothered by his demotion. Hey, Cox. Catch. The word you're looking for is thanks. Yeah, yeah. Cox. Are you here to let me out? Then kindly fuck off, Captain. Honestly, I'm glad Maya finally got one. This was starting to get sad. It was you? You stole Khan's barbecue sauce? This could be anyone's sauce. You can't pin it on me. Who are you gonna believe anyway? Me or the crazy old pilot? The pilot. I suppose this is what downtime looks like for Maya. So this is where that missing barbecue sauce went. Hey, Cap. What you did in the debris field was incredibly reckless. You disobeyed my order, and you put the whole- Oh my god. You're fucking welcome. I was getting to that. Thank you. Anytime. Khan seemed pleased with her prosthetic. Particularly the extra feature you included. That's good. Although you realize we just took the most unhinged person on the ship and gave her a bionic skull crusher for an arm. I think if Khan wanted to kill someone, she could do it without arms or legs.
What are you listening to? It's Martian music. You wouldn't like it. I'll decide what I like and don't like. Well? It's a beautiful song. My mom used to play it for us on the guitar. Half the time she'd break down crying and not even finish it. It reminded her of my dad. It's funny. I hate my dad. I hate the army he died for. And I hate Mars. But I still miss it. I'll leave you to it, then. Wait! Um... About that moment in the airlock. Yes? Are you feeling any better? I know you were pretty scared, given how tightly you were holding my hand. I noticed how terrified you were. Must have been your first time facing real danger. And my first time comforting my terrified captain. I'm here if you need to talk, by the way. The only thing we need to talk about is your delusion of fantasizing about me. I get it. It must be hard for the boss Meng to express her feelings. <laughs> Especially to the hot Martian engineer who can totally kick your ass. Not according to that scoreboard. My point is, there's nothing to be embarrassed about. Mm. Even if you did clink helmets with me. Clink helmets? What is that supposed to mean? I think you know exactly what it means. Helmet clinker. Typical dumb Martian. You try to kiss a woman, but forget to take your helmet off first. If I did try to kiss you, there'd be no fucking confusion about it. You know, we could stand here talking about hands and helmets all night. Or we could go back to my room and... Settle it. By settle it, are you talking about sex? Only one way to find out. If I sleep with Maya, the entire crew will know about it. Nothing stays secret on a ship like this. Is one night worth all the drama? Definitely. <sighs> Fucking finally. When Cox sat us down in the mess hall, I thought you were dead. And today, in the airlock, I thought we were dead. I know. I'm just saying, you're not allowed to die on me, Kamina Drimmer. Because I'm not losing the one person in the belt I give a shit about.
What the hell? Captain, you're going to want to see this. There's nothing on the map. No record of any settlements. So what the fuck is that? <laughs> 